Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here in stand number 191 of daily vlogging. And I know I'm still looking like a disaster, but you know, recovery takes time, okay? <laughs> um <clears throat> so um yeah, my voice is still scratchy. It's probably worse than yesterday, but um also I noticed <laughs> I noticed that my accent is thicker when I'm more tired. Um, because I, I really said Ashley yesterday. Um, okay, anyway, anyway. Um, so the story that I was going to tell yesterday, but then I got too tired to tell it, I'll tell it now. <laughs> so, whew, so Kim and I, um, went to Cedar Point, as you know. Um, we were kind of like, we were originally planning on not staying super late, but because of all the rain delays, we ended up staying until like the park closed. We didn't leave until 1030. Then we had a mishap trying to get McDonald's. <laughs> um, so we just started driving. We we're like, oh, we'll just start driving. Then we'll look for something. It'll be fine. Right. So <laughs> that was our first mistake. So we start driving. We're all hyped up. We're still like, we're still on a high from just going on all these roller coasters, right? And we're like all excited, whatever, we're eating our McDonald's. <laughs> we're all happy. We're driving along, singing songs, chit-chatting away. And then at like maybe 1230 or so, Kim was like, I think I want to stop driving at one. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. Um, so we, we started looking for places and we ended up like, you know, we pulled off. We found a hotel, we pulled off, we went over, um, we went over to the hotel because like, if it's after midnight and you're looking for a room for that night, you can't book it online because, um, like it's already changed the next day online. So you can't like, you can't book it for right now. Anyway, um, so we, so we pulled off, we get to the hotel, uh, Kim goes to go in to see if there's a room, none available. So we have to go to the next spot. So we, so we get back on the highway, we start driving and we're uh, driving along and we find another, another spot to go to. And that place, like, it looked rather sketchy. Like all the, there was just like, it was like in the middle of a junkyard, there were just trucks everywhere. And we we're like, I don't know, I don't really feel safe going here. So, um, so then we get back on the highway, like we didn't even stop at that one. So we get back on the highway, we go another exit and we get off and this this place there's like nothing there um there was like a shady looking gas station but that was it so at this point we we're just so tired so we go in kim goes in the hotel is clearly old but like the pictures online didn't look super old they looked like it was just redone recently so we go in Kim gets the like gets a room and she comes back and she's like, Oh great, we have a room. So we get all our stuff, we go park, we get all our stuff, we go in the we go into the hotel, we get to the elevator, and there's a sign on the elevator that says, um, <laughs> elevator, you may um you may experience a loud popping sound and shaking if you ride this elevator. Don't worry. <laughs> We've had it inspected many times and um, you're perfectly safe. And I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> so, um, that should have been our first red flag. Um, so we get in the elevator and there's no problems. We go up to the second floor. It's fine. So we get to our room. The whole hotel smells like stale smoke, like really not great, not great. And there's like stains on the carpet and stuff in the hallway. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> but like just so tired that we couldn't really, like, I couldn't like, I didn't have full energy to really complain about it. So we get in the room and there's like garbage still in the, in the trash can and all the toiletries are open in the bathroom. And there was like half, like the mouthwash was half gone, like gross. And it looked like someone was laying on the bed, like on top of the bed, not in the bed, but on top of the bed. Um, so not great, not a great situation. So Kim was like, I'm just going to call down to the lobby and tell them that we need a different room. So, okay, fine. She calls up. They say, okay, come down and we'll, we'll give you a new room. Fine. So we get all our things. We get in the elevator. This time, it did make that popping sound. And it was rather scary. <laughs> like, 
really, I was like, whoa, <laughs> like it really startles you. It was loud. Um, like they were not kidding. Uh, so we get off, we got off the elevator. We go back to the lobby. He gives us a new key. We go, we go to our new room. Fine. We get in the room and like at this point it's pushing 2 a.m. <laughs> we're really, really tired. So we get in there. And the first, it was on the first floor. So the first thing Kim does, she went and checked the window and it was open. The window was open on the first floor. So she like freaked out and locked it. And then she went to like close the curtains and she said there was like gook all over it. She said it looked like someone had chewing tobacco and spit their chewing tobacco on the curtains. And she said, come look at it. And I said, no, thank you, because I will make a vom noise. <laughs> so I'm like no I'm good thanks so then she goes in the bathroom to check the bathroom I'm kind of just standing there like I don't know what to do like I don't want to put my stuff down I don't want to like touch anything in this room so she goes in the bathroom and she's like oh my god there are hairs all over the toilet like in between the seat and the tank um she's like this is disgusting and then she looks in the sink and there's dried toothpaste all over it. So we're like, great, this room hasn't been cleaned either. Fantastic. Also, the mouthwash, again, was half used. Um, <laughs> and so, cool, that's gross. And then she looks in the shower and she's like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what is in the shower? So I went to look. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned in about 10 years. Like it was so disgusting. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you how gross it was. Like it was just the whole thing. It was clearly white or cream colored at some point, but the whole bottom was brown. There were some black spots, some brown spots. And then there was like, like not just dirt brown, but like gook, like, like thick brown gook. <laughs> I can't even like think about it. This is so gross. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was so it was so disgusting. So <laughs> we were like, no, we can't do it. We can't do it. Like, I was like, well, what do you want to do? Because like I'd really rather, like, I <laughs> didn't want to say it out loud, but I really didn't want to stay there. Like, I was like, if she really wants to because she's driving and really, like, cannot drive, then I'll have to suck it up and, and stay there. But I was almost like, I'd rather go back to the car and sleep in the car, honestly. <laughs> like, it was so disgusting. So we uh, were like, Kim's like, no, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> and we go so we go back we collect all our things we go back out to the lobby and the guy was it was basically like he was waiting for us like he knew we were not gonna be pleased so so we go back out to the lobby and the guy the guy um is there you know the worker whatever and Kim's like um yeah can we just not stay here and he's like yeah sure no problem like, he was so nice about it. Like, he was expecting. He was probably like, there's no way that these girls are saying. There's no way. So, like, and he, he refunded all, like, the, the room right away. No questions asked. No problem. And he was just like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Whatever. And we're like, oh, it's not your fault. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's it's probably not. He just He's just the front desk guy. Um, but, oh. It was so gross, so gross. So then, <laughs> so as we're leaving and we're going back out to the car, Kim <laughs> turns around and says to me, I'm sorry I'm such high maintenance, or I'm so high maintenance. And I was like, girl, that's not high maintenance. That's like low maintenance. <laughs> Medium maintenance maybe, but ugh, not high maintenance. Anyone, anyone, <laughs> anyone can see that we cannot stay there. <laughs> Ooh, no thank you Ugh. <laughs> like old I can like deal with but like if it's not clean and it's disgusting like that like 
no thank you and it just didn't feel safe with the window open and she said like the mirror was like pried out and she she got like skeeved vibes from it like someone put a camera back there or something and they could be looking in the like the mirror in the bathroom like oh imagine oh so gross so then so then we go to the so then we drive some more and we go to the next spot um and we just get a hotel there but like if we if we pulled up to that hotel at a decent hour we probably wouldn't have wanted to stay there either honestly but compared to the last one we were at this one was like the freaking ritz carlton like <laughs> um so yeah <laughs> it was it was like the next like the hotel that we ended up staying at was fine it was it wasn't necessarily up to our our standards but like it was manageable um so yeah we slept a few hours and then hit the road <laughs> um but yeah like I just can't believe like we I, uh, I mean like we've done it before that we've I mean, I have that we've traveled and not known where we were going to stop and then found a decent spot to stay in the middle of the night. I guess we were just like in a really bad area because we would have had to stop for like a real decent hotel. We would have had to stop like maybe an hour and a half sooner or kept driving for another hour or so. And it was already like really late and we were just really like at this point we were delirious, like so tired. Um, but yeah that's my hotel story so <laughs> beware when you're driving when you're driving in the middle of the night make sure you know where you're gonna stop <laughs> and read the read the trip advisor re reviews first <laughs> but like the the place that was disgusting had an 8.4 8.9 rating on uh, hotels.com like who is giving this place an 8.9 like I give it a negative 12 it was disgusting but <laughs> sorry for all the all the bomb noises <sighs> so yeah <laughs> drivers beware <laughs> all right so that's it for me for today um I'll talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs> love you